Hey everybody, Emil and Lars here, and today we're introducing the Saucony Endorphin Pro 4. So Lars, you're basically an Endorphin Pro Pro. Yeah. So now you have <laughs> 10.4 seconds to tell me what's new about this shoe. Get ready. New double foamed midsole with HG and Power Run PB. New upper with a stretchy tongue and new outsole, new cutouts, and a new type of responsive sock liner as well. Might have gone a bit over, but it sounds like there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. So Lars, you started out by saying something about the midsole. Is it right that there's two foams in it now? Two foams, some say dual density, dual foam. It has a new type of midsole with Power on HG, which you find in the Endorphin Elite in the top, and then you have Power on PB in the bottom, which makes for a quite a unique ride, in my opinion. What does it do? Yeah, <laughs> well, it actually, you have that more responsive layer at top, and it just feels really, really bouncy and lovely when you run in it. Okay. You can see it right here, that the HG sticking out, and then it's like encapsulated inside the midsole and you find that carbon plate mm. in between those foams. So does it help with the push off or does it increase the bounce or what, how does it feel on the foot? Well, I haven't tried the last version, so I'm not 100% sure how that one felt. Uh, I tried the Endorphin Elite, which only has HD. And for me, it's that combination makes for a little bit more of a bouncy ride. Okay but still gives you that rocker off the toe yes. that I really, really like in this shoe. It has a very, very soft heel that is really nice and comfortable to land on, but I feel like the faster you go almost, the more pushback you get, and it gets like a faster turnover and faster and faster and just kicks it up a notch. I tried the, the Pro 3 and yeah. uh, it, it was quite bouncy, but it wasn't like it got more and more bouncy the faster I went. Yeah. Uh, so, so this one sounds like a, a nice upgrade. In general, very happy with how this shoe runs. Let's move on to the upper. Uh, yeah. It looks pretty much the same as, as the Pro 3. Yeah. I, I had it in the Mermaid uh, with the ir iridescent Sparks there. and oh, everything, yeah. yeah. It got that same type of honeycomb mesh. Yeah which is really, really see-through. Yeah, You can breathable. like see through, yeah, very, very breathable, but it has a different type of tongue. Yes. It's like incorporated into uh, almost like a booty construction, like a sock, mm -hmm. and it has like a little bit more stretch. It's really stretchy actually. It is, it is. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna either, <laughs> either you're gonna love it or you're gonna, dislike it a little bit. That's usually what it is when you have a little bit of a new thing. But how many people are gonna love this part? <laughs> we need to do a vote on that, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, I could see I could see it being being good for when you have to to pull to pull out in the tongue. Uh, but this I <laughs> I, honestly, I don't get it. It looks like something from old school uh, football boot. You get enough coverage uh, over the ankle and then you flip it down and you actually don't notice it. Uh, I've also seen some actually trying to tie over it so you get extra padding if you feel like it's ah. a little thick. In general, it's one of those things that's almost more design thing, uh, I think. Pretty uh, weird. Pretty yeah, weird. it's weird. But overall, it fits nice. Uh, I think actually, if you have a high volume foot, like a taller midfoot, it gives a little bit more room. Okay. But I still feel like I have a great lockdown in this shoe. And it's breathable, like really breathable. You can see it's breathable, <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Let's move on to the outsole. There's yes. uh, quite a bit of outsole. Quite a bit of outsole, same type of outsole that the Endorphin Speed has, Yes. actually. And a lot of cutouts to trim down a little bit of weight, but a lot of coverage. A lot of coverage. And it really works. I felt like it stuck to the ground on wet asphalt. No problem there, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'm really satisfied with how well it sticks. And I think it's gonna be okay durable as well. Remember, this shoe is also like 212 grams, I think. It's, it's Two, very, very lightweight. Yeah. Which races would you use this shoe for? All of them, from 5K to marathon. You can also use it for a mile if you want to, but 
it can do any speed, any distance. How stable is it? It's fairly stable, especially from here and upwards. It's a little soft in the heel, so some people who land a lot on their heel might find it a little bit unstable there. At what paces do you find this shoe to be doing the best job? Well, it does a great job at all paces, but from marathon pace and faster, it just feels like it loves speed. So everything faster, it's fun. Does it fit true to size? Absolutely, it fits perfectly in my US 11, which I always use, and it's spot on. Does this shoe snuck your foot? It is a snug little hug. It fits like a race shoe, so it's a little bit tighter, but it has a little bit of space here in the tongue for a high volume foot and okay space in the forefoot. Not that really wide toe box though. This is a pure race shoe, mm. in my opinion. I could easily go for a long run in it as well and do like the tempo sessions. It's so much fun when you turn up the pace. Mm. So uh, use it as an interval shoe. Use it as a long run shoe if you want a little bit more tempo in it and you want to get your feet used to race day mm -hmm. and then use it for race day. This is not uh, to talk it down, but this looks like the most daily trainer-ish super shoe out there. Yeah, I can see it because mm -hmm. it's comfortable when you run slow as well. And you have the grip and... Yeah, it's a really good shoe and a surprisingly fun shoe when you turn up the pace. Mm. And you can, of course, buy it on runningexpert.com spring 24.